Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, we've got the fifth whore of season 19 here, and today my alliance is going to be facing TN3M. Um, this was a mismatch. I think it was our first real mismatch of the season. These guys were in Platinum 2 last season, so... Um, yeah, with the, uh, like, war... Uh, with the war ratings getting cut in half, I think this is pretty common. So we're going to be starting off on path one here. Our first fight is going to be Captain America Infinity War. And it's going to be Arc Overload and Vigorous Assault. And they're running stubborn. So basically anytime the Arc Overload triggers, um, he, uh, Captain America is going to go unblockable. So I'm just going to have to uh, deal with that. So he's going to start the fight unblockable. He is a stubborn defender. So I'm just kind of waiting out that... Um, that unblockable and I'm gonna go ahead and use a heavy to lock in my spores got a good intercept there I'm um, just gonna try to keep my spores locked in he glanced that time so bait out the special to do um, a couple mediums I want to try to lock them in before he goes unblockable again got another good intercept it doesn't matter though because he is indestructible right now I can actually see this being like okay placement it's um but I just don't think that he'll ever get a kill on this node. So I'm going to block the first part of that special one. Lock in the spores again. And at this point, I just decided to go ahead and save to a special three. Um, I accidentally did dex, and now he is unblockable and, um, and indestructible again. Paid out the special one. One more heavy attack, and the fight should pretty much be over at this point. So, not too bad there. And we're going to go ahead and move up to our second fight. And this is going to be, um, this is just going to be a rank 4 Elsa Bloodstone. And she's going to have Masochism. And indomitable but um, she's not a stubborn defender and with Omega um, once you have 10 spores on her she actually can't shrug your stun um, or any debuff for that matter so he kind of negates the masochism so I started out with a good intercept there I am gonna make a mistake here in a second I'm gonna rush in too early um, in the middle of her heavy attack but it's not a big deal there's no point in this fight where I really felt like I was at risk, so I waited a little bit longer that time. I'm gonna lock in the degen, and the fight's pretty much over. So, we're gonna be moving along here. We're gonna take the shared fight. It's gonna be Mr. Sinister. And this is gonna be the Strike Counter Fury node. And I don't believe he's a stubborn defender, actually. I don't think he's um, hashtag defensive. Nope, he's not. So, this fight really isn't a big deal. It's just kind of annoying because um, I tested the Furies in the off season, and if they get too high, you can actually take a pretty good amount of block damage from him. And I just didn't want to deal with that. So I'm going to be throwing specials in this fight just to be extra safe. I'm just doing slow combos. Um, I'm also not going to use any heavy attacks because I do not want him to put my... Uh, my degen back on me so I'm just gonna try to stand close to him block him block hit him a lot try to get my spores to do damage and just throw a lot of special ones to heal up any sort of chip damage so again pretty straightforward you can see he's only at, um, four furies right now that's pretty good and Yep, there's not a ton to say about this fight. Just baiting out special ones. And we're like less than a minute in and he's already down to 25%. So, um, I have seen this placement before. I'm not sure why, but this just isn't... I don't think that this is a terribly difficult node regardless of who's on it, so... I'm going to finish with a special one. Alright, so that fight is over. And we're going to be moving up here to node 23. I'm going to try this Korg. Um, 
This has Mixmaster, Oscillate, and Aggression Prowess on it. And I've taken this fight once this season. It went decent, like I survived. And then I gave it away last war. So basically I can't do two of the same attacks in a row. And you're gonna see that I'm going to a couple times in this, uh, in this fight. And sometimes he evades and sometimes he doesn't. Like there I just did three mediums in a row and he didn't evade. But then that time he did. So I'm not sure um, exactly why. But either way, um, I am going to make a mistake in this fight coming up here in just a second. I'm going to stand next to him, wait for him to throw that special two. He throws it. And there I did a double medium and just ate a full combo. So I'm going to go back in. And there I was fully blocking and he threw his special one directly into my block so that was kind of uh, weird and annoying here uh, again I was blocking through the special one into the block dexed out of the last part of it and now I'm just going to heavy into a special two go into a block and the spore damage is going to kill him so um, that fight isn't bad I'm not really scared of it anymore like I used to be and then in section two, I'm gonna be on path three. Um, this node is basically enhanced armor up and it's a type of thorns where whenever the defender has an armor and you hit them, you're gonna bleed. So there's absolutely um, zero risk here using Omega Red. The bleed is just gonna help him. And Colossus is a stubborn defender, but you'll see that doesn't even really come into play in this fight. So I've got 11 bleeds on, or I had 11 bleeds on me now, but it's not a big deal. I'm just doing medium, light, medium. And I've been trying to practice this. I've seen some other people do it. And I'm just basically parrying and standing next to him and then just using a heavy to lock in my spores. And you'll see I've hit him 12 times here. I'm gonna do one more heavy. And the fight's over. So that was 15 hits. Um, no big deal at all. I think I'm going to continue to practice that strategy. Um, because it seems to make fights quite a bit easier. And then this is actually going to be my last fight of the war. Um, it's going to be a Nightcrawler. And again, this node doesn't have anything. It's Explosive Personality. Rank 1 6 star Nightcrawler. Um, but there's no limber or anything, so I'm literally just going to be parrying and doing two hits, heavying, and that's pretty much going to be the fight. So, I'm going to lock in my spores once again. You can see I only have 16 spores on him right now, but it's really not a big deal. There he went indestructible. I'm going to lock in my spores one more time and the fight's over. So... Yeah, um, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with Omega Red. So these fights are going better. And so yeah, that was actually the last fight of the war for me. I'm just going to use my energy here and move up for other people to take mini bosses. We did end up winning this war. Um, these guys were really, really good sports about the matchup. Um, they were really nice. We were talking in war chat. And they um, completely cleared the map. Like, they obviously struggled a little bit, but they did not leave a single defender up. So that was um, really cool. They definitely held their own and did a great job. And did better than, um, than some other alliances that we've faced that finished higher than Platinum too. So great job to you guys. Um, we did end up, uh, like I said, we did end up winning this one. But congrats to all the MVPs, and I'll catch you guys in the next war.